Hi, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Andre Shafat. Now in this video, I will be continuing the summary of the subtle art of not giving an F by Mark Manson. Now this is chapter 3. And by the way, if you haven't watched or listened to chapters 1 and 2, please go to the link below. Now let's begin. You may believe it or not, a lot of us, well, most of us, have an average life and everyday routine activities that is mostly the same. And to become an extraordinary or exceptional individual takes time. And many do not have the luxury of extra time to do so. Thus, as most of us end up with the same routine and activity while others have managed to reach the top, the media or even social media misguided us in informing us that we are different by spoon-feeding us with visuals, pictures, and videos of wealthy and successful human beings. Due to those circumstances, we begin to look at the mirror and see ourselves as being separated from the rest. So we ask for special treatment. Some people tend to see themselves as failures. Other people are at the opposite end and refuse to accept the idea that they might not be as important as they think they are. Both situations eventually lead to avoiding solving problems because we start thinking that it is either not our duty to find solutions or lack the skills to do so. Because of that, all those developing high self-esteem courses became successful even though further studies prove that the outcome is far from what we expected. Even though the internet managed to offer us the liberty we desired in terms of how we express ourselves, it also created a virtual prison where we are found guilty because of our desire to be someone else. Now Mark Manson still wants to emphasize the negative impacts the internet can have on our lives. The web is filled with stressful and overwhelming messages of how everyone owns unique personalities and deserves to be on top of everything. Thus, we believe that we are allowed to a different approach once we become adults. We no longer see ourselves as average individuals but as either above or below mediocrity or averageness. Based on the writer's experience, accepting that we are all the same will eventually offer us a feeling of relief. To stay mentally healthy, we need to be honest with ourselves and take some general facts or truths, even though it can be painful to admit that you will make no impact in the world. All of these will put you on the right path as you will also let go of the pressure that comes with the need to succeed. Averageness shouldn't be seen as an imperfection, but more as quality as it underlies that we are not the only ones going through difficult moments. The end of the summary of chapter 3. Now see you in chapter 4.